it's been so long. I've been MIA. I'm really sorry about that, but I've had just like some family stuff going on. I don't really want to get into it. Just like, just not really in the mood. I'm fine right now, but um, maybe I'll share at some point. I just don't know when, but it's Monday. I am really excited to be vlogging today. I just showered. I'm gonna do my skincare routine. I actually already put on my eye cream. It's just, well, it's an eye gel to be exact. You guys saw some of my morning routine this morning, but since then I did um, a Pilates class by the pool this morning. It was really nice. It's like, um, it was nice weather this morning. It's getting hotter now. What temperature is it actually? Let's look. It's 82 degrees right now, but it was shady where I was when I did my class and it was super nice. Um, so really, really enjoyed that. Um, I actually haven't done a Pilates class in weeks. So that was my first one. Um, I've been out of commission for a few weeks and it was definitely really hard today, but it was nice. UPS truck driving by and it's not for me. How rude. So it was nice to be back at it, but it was definitely really hard. Um, and then after that, I made a green smoothie for breakfast. It's my classic green smoothie that I make all the time. I share it on Instagram so many times. Basically spinach, half frozen banana, vanilla protein powder. I'll link the one I use below. Vital proteins, collagen, flax seeds, peanut butter, ice, almond milk. It is so good. So after my workout, I drink that protein smoothie by the pool and just kind of like relax for a little bit. And then I showered and now I'm here <laughs> doing my skincare routine. Right now I'm putting on a neck cream. I've really been enjoying adding this to my routine. I feel like I have seen a difference. Like I have that like line on my neck that I feel like most people have these days from looking down at your phone. Um, but this one is from Replenix. I'm gonna take my daily vitamins and I can take all my vitamins at once. Who else can do that? I feel like it's pretty impressive because some people cannot even take one pill. So I don't mean to flex on you, but I can take all my vitamins at once. I'm actually gonna be filming a little Zara haul for my TikTok and my Instagram reels. I'm really, like my goal this week is to step up my Instagram Reels game and TikTok, but really, really Instagram because I feel like that is how people grow these days is by posting on Instagram Reels and I need to really just like step it up. So that's my goal for this week, honestly. I wanna like film a ton of Reels and um, hopefully I do. Maybe <laughs> go look at my Instagram and see if I've done it yet. Um, I am gonna film a Zara haul in a little bit to get ready, maybe shoot some photos, like some content and stuff. And then um, I'm also gonna share the Zara haul in this video. Just if you guys wanna see the pieces on, um, go check out my Instagram because that's where I'm gonna be doing the try on part, but I will just share everything really quickly in a few minutes. But I wanna get ready and um, I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. I'm ready now. I feel like a new woman. I've had lunch. I had coffee. I did my hair. I did my makeup. I'm in a color that's just really giving me life. It's like green, like money. And it's a part of my Zara haul that I'll get to in a minute. Um, but I'm really feeling this color. It's just a basic little tea, but I feel like this color is really fun. I did get a package today that I wanted to unbox um, really quickly. It's actually the skincare brand Replenix. I did have a few other products in my skincare routine. I just, um, it arrived today in the mail, so I want to unbox it because why not? Um, this is not sponsored. They just send me a little PR package and I thought it'd be fun to include it in the vlog. Um, let's see what we got here. Okay. A cleanser, a moisturizer, and an eye cream. Always love an eye cream. I feel like I have moisturizers and eye creams on back stock. Okay, so I have an antioxidant hydrating cleanser and then a lightweight multivitamin moisturizer. I feel like you definitely can't see that, but it's okay. A tinted brightening eye cream. Oh, okay, this is for discoloration, interesting. The packaging is green, so is this, oh, it's one of these. I've never used anything like this before. I don't really have dark circles, but I feel like this wouldn't hurt to brighten up my under eye even more. So we'll see about that. Um, 
for sure I'll like it. I've been loving their stuff. It's all like medical grade skincare. And it's actually a sister company of Derma E. That's kind of how I got on their PR list because they've worked with Derma E for years now. Like, I don't know how long it's been, for a really long time. And um, I started getting packages from them and I put two and two together that they are sister companies after doing some research. Um, but I'm liking their stuff. So now let's get into the Zara haul. Uh, my pants are unbuttoned. I'm going to show you guys this shirt. Let me button up my pants really quick. I had to unbutton them to sit down. That's just how my life is these days. Okay, I haven't filmed the Instagram haul yet, but like I said, if you guys wanna see all these things on, I'm gonna be filming that in a minute and it should be on my Instagram by the time this video goes up. So um, this is the shirt that I'm wearing for today, but I'm just gonna show you guys everything else really quickly. Like always, I got a few basics in this haul. I feel like I always work in some like plain t-shirts or crop tops or just like solid color things that you can wear a million different ways. Me and my brother's girlfriend actually went shopping last Friday and we had a really good shopping day. We were um, prepping for our Tahoe trip coming up. So if you guys missed that um, vlog from last summer, make sure you go check it out. There will be another one coming um, probably in early September because we're going actually on my birthday week. So um, we leave on the 24th, I believe, and we'll be there for I think like five days um so another road trip vlog will be coming your way and they're super fun we're like so excited so we had a really fun day like planning like what we're going to be wearing and just like buying a bunch of stuff for the trip we've been like pinning stuff on pinterest looking online like doing a ton of shopping and just like planning all these cute pictures and i just love taking like some fun pictures it's like really really exciting for me i love to do stuff like that so i like to you know, get some stuff that I can wear and have like some content to shoot while I'm there and have it in the vlog and whatever. So um, this isn't from Zara, but I just wanna share it really quick. I mean, is this not perfect for the lake? I actually got this at um, Cotton On and I had to get it because it's really cute, first of all, but also bucket hats never fit my head because I have a really big head. And this one, fit perfect really cute right I feel like this is just so perfect for a mountain road trip by the lake and um, just like very outdoorsy and cute and that was only like $11.99 they had a ton of colors and I'm um, good if you have a big head like me so moving on to my Zara haul um, obviously I got this shirt that I'm wearing the green money shirt I find that I just need more solid color basics I have so much black so much white so much gray um, but I just need like some fun summer colors and this is also good for fall it's good to layer with it's cute just to throw on with a pair of cut off down shorts like it's just an easy go-to piece that I find that I can have an endless amount of in my closet and I will get you set up everything because it's just what I always gravitate towards and so I got a few things like that in this haul um, but I will move on to something a little bit more exciting first so that it's not just all plain basics I got this little sweater vest that I think is really really cute I love the colors it's good for fall but also cute for summer I'm feeling like this would be cute in Tahoe like a um, little moment with some cut off denim shorts I'm um, just thrown over like it's you know it's cutesy like the knit sweater vest materials very like fall vibes but also it's like a lightweight like crochet so it's not like it's super hot and i'm gonna be overheating in it if i wear it while we're up in the mountains because it's like i think today in lake tahoe it's like 75 so it's not bad at all and um i really like that it was 25 bucks and i did get just a basic white little crop top to wear underneath because i think that looks super cute to layer with like you have the little sleeve coming out love that and i just think zara has the best basics they're like 990 or 790 i think this was this is 790 and they're just really great quality i have a few basics from them that i wear all the time so this trip to the mall i knew i needed to get some more because i just wear them non-stop um so love that um next up is something i guess i'll do let's do this okay so this i actually I'll put the picture up on the screen. I actually have something exactly like this pinned to my Tahoe Inspo um, Pinterest board. You guys might think I'm insane for like having an Inspo board for this, but it's just like, these kind of things make me really happy and just, it gets me really excited for the trip. But I have something exactly like this saved to my Pinterest board. It's a really pretty like salmon color linen blend button up shirt. It's actually from the men's section. I saw it and I was like, this looks like something I have pinned on my Pinterest. I need it. And it's just like mission accomplished. And I think this will look cute for a bathing suit cover up. You could wear it buttoned up, maybe as like a little dress. I actually don't know if it's long enough for that, but it is a men's shirt. So I feel like if you wanted to size up, you could do like a dress moment um, or just like over a tank mini dress. Just so many ways you could wear it. Very comfortable, very cute. That is perfect for Tahoe in my opinion. I'm obsessed. Last two items, basic black t-shirt 
fits so nice. Oops, out of focus. It's kind of similar to the one I'm wearing, like the same kind of sleeve style, um, but just can't go wrong. That was like nine bucks. This last piece I had in more colors and I really like the style of it, but it's like this V-neck, almost muscle shirt cut off t-shirt. And it's really cute. I like the fit on it. I think this is gonna look cute with some high-waisted like Levi's jeans kind of tucked in or just like very effortless thrown over a bathing suit because it is like super thin. It's like a nice um, kind of like cotton blend kind of shirt. And I just love it. I think the yellow is really, really cute and um, just so good for summer. Kind of want to check them out one more time before the trip because they do have so many good things. Um, but I was kind of trying to pace myself because I feel like I have so much... Um, there's just so many things that I want to order online and just like things like that. So I didn't want to go overboard because I knew there were still more things that I was going to order for the trip. And then maybe I'll be sharing on Instagram if I do like some more like hauls for my vacation, if you guys want to check that out. Um, I'm sure it'll be on my Instagram, maybe on my reels because I'm trying to do more reels. So maybe I'll put it on there. But um, yeah, really, really excited. And just, I think I'm just being extra also because it's, like my birthday you know it's like a birthday trip so uh, my birthday is august 28th in case any of you guys are wondering i am a virgo which most of you guys know i have a tattoo right here i don't want to stretch it there we go <laughs> is anyone else a virgo comment below if you're a virgo where are my virgo sisters at or where are my leos at i guess technically right now it's leo season but we are approaching virgo season i'm coming for your neck just kidding i love my leos but um yeah, that was my Zara haul. And now what are we gonna do? I think I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna film this haul for my reels, obviously, and then we'll see what happens. So as you've seen in the B-roll, I've pretty much been just working on my computer for the last few hours and I think I'm gonna continue to do so. I kinda wanna edit this vlog like tonight and possibly get it up tomorrow or Wednesday at the latest. I just really wanna get it up. I'm so sick of not having a video up. I told you guys I've been dealing with some family stuff. Um, basically my sister was in the hospital and we're still dealing with all that. I don't really wanna get into specifics because I haven't really shared um, anything about that before and maybe I will at some point, but it's also like not my story to tell you know but just so you guys know i've been dealing with stuff like that for the last few weeks and then even before any of that happened i feel like i've just been so off and on with my upload schedule because of the summer heat my ac has not been working and filming has just been a mission like it's i have to turn off my fan i have to close my windows my ac's not on it is like a sauna in here it's actually insane and i feel like i'm like gonna pass out by the end of it and i'm like sweating and it's just it's not a pleasant experience so hopefully that's going to be getting fixed soon and i can get back into filming my styling videos and just regular sit down videos i miss being consistent so much i feel like really this whole year i've just been kind of like maybe inconsistent uninspired and then when i'm feeling inspired things just kind of get in the way like life gets in the way you know um and those are all excuses but just wanted you guys to know where my head is at and where i've been but this week i'm really excited to get into creating content and filming this vlog editing i have like some ideas for my little editing process and i'm just really excited to do that i think i'm gonna like pour a glass of wine and get to editing this vlog and just like have fun with it because i just i don't know feels like the right night to do that and i'm just excited and feeling really motivated to get back into it because i've been so out of it for so long and it's just driving me nuts so that's what's been going on it's a little life update if you will and um thank you guys for all your prayers and your messages i got so many sweet dms when i shared about a family emergency two weeks ago and you guys are just awesome so thank you so much and i think i'm gonna end the vlog here just kind of wanted it to be a little you know catch up um day in the life just you know a typical work day monday when i'm working from home and i don't leave my house <laughs> like i'm just here all day doing random stuff and um tonight the bachelorette comes on but i think we're actually not watching it till tomorrow and it's the finale um because we've been having like bachelorette nights and um 
it doesn't work for everyone until tomorrow. So <laughs> we have to watch the finale a day late. I'm gonna try my best to avoid spoilers. It's gonna be funny. Um, you know, hopefully I don't see anything, but I'm really excited to see what happens and how this ends because I really have no idea. So we'll see, but um, yeah. So <laughs> that's what's gonna go on tonight. Gonna edit, have dinner, avoid social media so I don't see any spoilers. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little mini vlog. If you want to see more vlogs, like back to my quarantines vlogs that I used to do, my quarantine times, um, I used to film a lot of vlogs during that time and it's honestly kind of triggering to look back at them but it was fun and I feel like it really got me through that time. I did just like a lot of day in my life work day quarantine from home kind of situation. So um, if you guys want more of that, not the quarantine, but just more daily vlogs, day in the life, maybe like some family stuff or just like, you know, going out and doing more things. I do a lot of vlogs like at home for these day in the lives because it's just easier for me and I get like overwhelmed filming out in public or like out doing stuff. Like I'll vlog my upcoming trip and like things like that, but like, going places like going to eat and going to lunch and going and like doing stuff it's always like really overwhelming for me to vlog it's just I'm not there yet so um these day in the lives at home are a little bit more practical for me but you will be coming along with me on my Tahoe trip so make sure you subscribe for that watch my last one I'll link it below somewhere for you guys um and yeah I'm gonna stop babbling now I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you very soon check out my Instagram I post there really frequently I'll post updates there if I share anything but hopefully you guys will see me next week in a new video if everything goes as planned I will have a new video next week too so I love you guys and I will see you in the next one bye